Congratulations, Joe. This is your third consecutive term as yeah. mayor. Are you going to be mayor forever? <laughs> no, trust me, no. And I, uh, I think if I was mayor forever, no. I just no. No, three years um, is a is a fair length of term as it is. Uh, but I think it's one of those situations where it gets in your blood a little bit, and I really enjoy doing it. So um, when I mentioned earlier that I was passionate about the job, I was I was legitimate and. Uh, I really enjoy doing it. You mentioned during your speech the La Trobe Valley uh, transition and so on. Was that part of the reason why you're staying on to try to give it more constant faith? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's with the economic development zone, with Bore Bore La Trobe and Wellington being in the process and being involved in it basically from day one. Um, I just think I've got a lot to give Bore Bore at the moment. I've got that uh, the ability to flow on and to know how what's happened over the past. You form relationships with state government entities and also with the Trove Valley Authority entities as well. And um, yeah, I just think at the moment where we sit, this is going to be a very crucial year for Bobble Shire. You mentioned a lot of finishing up projects and so on, the, the art centre being you know, finishing up and things we've known about for a while. What's new on the horizon to you? Is, is there going to be any significant changes or is it just going to be business as usual? Oh, look, Bobble Shire is a, it's just a, every day you wake up and think, what the hell is going to happen today? You know, it's a really interesting project. But we've got so much development going on. As I said, to keep up with the growth situations, how we're going to cater for kindergartens, how we're going to cater for the education, how we're going to um, handle the new West Gippsland Hospital, which I'm saying the new West Gippsland Hospital because I'm determined that we can push and advocate forward for that. We've got a lot of um, areas where, as a council, we've got to mature and grow and make sure that we're supplying the assets and the infrastructure that our community wants. And that's a day by day challenge and, um, and I'm really keen for it to happen. And uh, will you be contesting next year's mayoral election? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Shall I say that again? No, definitely not. And I've already made that very clear to the councillors that this is definitely my last term for mayor. Um, we've got such a great calibre of councillor at the moment that I have no problems with um, someone else stepping into those shoes because of the capabilities there. Do you hope it will be um, Councillor Goss because he's now your deputy? Uh, he is my deputy but Michaela was my deputy as well and I've had Peter Costas as my deputy as well. So uh, no, I think, I think the circumstances at the time is what it comes down to, who has the ability to do so and who has the drive to do so is also there. So uh, same process will take place next year and, um, and we'll, we'll select a mayor from that point on.